Good morning, this is Ms. Henderson and I'm going to show you how to set up your Weebly. First, you're going to log in using your student ID. I've created a sample account to test this. Your beginning password is Vikings2016. I'm going to log in. The first thing it's going to do is it's going to ask you to name your site. You can just keep it my site or you can change that later. All right, what we're going to do next is we're going to edit our site. What we want to do first is create a blog page. Oh look, it's asking me to pick a name. You want to pick a name that is school appropriate. So I'm going to call it um, Sample Students Photography. And then I'm going to hit continue. All right. Going back to pages, I want to create a blog page. So I'm going to click the Pages tab, and then over here where it says Pages plus pl with a plus symbol, I am going to click that plus symbol. And it's going to say, well, what kind of page do you want to create? I want to create a blog page. What is the name of my blog? You can just keep it blog, or you could call it photography or photographs. You do not want to hit hide navigation. You obviously want people to see this. Uh, what kind of header do I want? I'm going to pick a short header. I can go back and change the picture later. Of course, I want it visible. All right, and now I'm going to hit, I can hit save or I can hit publish. Save saves it as a draft. I want to actually go ahead and publish this. All right, no, I don't want to put it on Facebook or Twitter. All right, so now I'm going to go back and edit it. So I'm going to go back to my blog page. Okay. So now that I have my photograph page selected, I want to make sure I put a post in. So I'm going to scroll down. And it says right here, you don't have any blog posts. All right, well, I want to make one. So I'm going to hit create new blog post. So what I'm doing is I'm dragging and dropping elements into here. 